Jim only having two trainers. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. I forgot that you kind of revamped this whole area. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not good for us. What's up, everybody? Welcome on back to the channel. Welcome on back to the Empire. I need to apologize right up front. I am not feeling well today. Um, and I just got back from Monday Night Raw last night. It is currently 6.46 in the morning that this episode is going to go up. Um, so I'm not feeling the best. But I want to get at least two episodes recorded for you for today and tomorrow. So let's go over our quick team recap. And I need to move my... There we go. I need to move myself over, don't I? Hold on one second. A mid-video. I mean, there we go. Okay. First up, we have OK, our Butterfree with the unnervability with moves Confusion, Poison Powder, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. Next up, we have Destro, our Flareon with the Limber ability with the moves Helping Hand, Quick Attack, Ember, and Sand Attack. Next up, we have Etsy, our Dragauji with the Motor Drive ability with the moves Twister, Faint Attack, Echoed Voice, and Bubble. Next up, we have Dribbler, our Iron Fisting Tauros, our starter with the moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Rage, and Horn Attack. Next up, we have our newly caught Swag, the Aeron with the Unnerve ability with the moves Echo, Harden, and Mud Slap. And that is our team. Uh, I did not grind up Swag in between episodes, as you can tell. And that's okay. We are in Rustboro City. We have um, some trainers that we need to defeat. And then we are going to take on the gym. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to grinding a whole lot in this episode other than these trainers. Um, that we have. So, actually, you know what? We have the e EXP share. I'm being goofy. Uh, let's focus on Etsy and Dribbler, I think, will be our two that we should focus on. So, let's battle this fisherman. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert! Huh? You don't know me. Nope, sorry, buddy. I have I have literally no idea who you are. Fisherman Ivan sent out a Lillipup. I guess he's not a master fisherman, as he's got a Lillipup, not a water Pokemon. So I guess there's that. Okay, we are going to go for the Echoed Voice. I should do pretty good damage here. Ooh, almost. Ooh, that was a crit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We were identified. Doesn't matter to us. We're going to go for the Twister. And this one take out the Lillipup. And down they go. How much XP are we going to get? 82. The rest of our team? Nope. Not enough for level up. The next... Pokemon is Cloyster. We are going to get out of here. Cloyster is kind of difficult for us, so let's go into Dribbler. Let's go into Dribbler. We don't really have anything for Cloyster yet other than him. Your Gouji may get smoked if he gets hit by an Ice Shard. Oh, Cloyster goes for Protect as we go for the Horn Attack, okay? Let's try this again. Horn Attack. Dribbler. There we go. Connects. And Cloyster... I actually took it pretty okay. And the police was going to Um But yeah, we I went to Monday Night Raw last night. It was a wonderful show. WWE put on a great show last night. It was awesome. It was so much fun. I was with my best friend. Uh, we had a great time. But now, I'm, I, could, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. So I'm wondering if that's why I'm not feeling well. Is that I just didn't sleep really good. Um, I think it was may have been the late night root beer. Or the... Uh, uh, had boneless wings at Quaker Steak up at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland. So it may have been uh, what I ate in the hot sauce that is messing with my insides right now. But that's okay. I apologize. I also look a little bit like garbage. I was up this morning. I was up early this morning uh, obviously because I didn't sleep. And uh, I've had a thought for a message. And if you didn't know, I'm a Baptist preacher. Uh, and I thought had a thought of a message for a while and God's really been kind of putting it on my heart about it so I kind of I got a message ready and studied it and took some time and got into my Bible a lot more than normal this morning and, and prayed a little bit this morning and all that fun stuff not trying to you know hype me up at all not by any means um, I should be doing this all the time uh, but kind of giving glory to God and, and everything that I do so um, that's why I was up this morning that's why I don't look super great our shower is also broke so I need to you know go to different people's houses to shower right now it's kind of an irritating thing but it's all good, the Lord knows, and we'll get it squared away. He'll help us to get that fixed up. So, let's talk to this old lady. Not the water. If you see berries growing in soft soil, feel free to take them, but make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy here. I'll share this with you. She gives us a bunch of berries, doesn't she? But you look, you must be a trainer, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I don't feel like planting one. Sorry, 
I know it's common courtesy, but mm, we're not going to be going back for berries. Sorry. Okay. We did pretty good. What's this guy got to say? Have you taken on a Pokemon gym yet? Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand? That's when you really start to feel like a trainer. Okay. Well, nothing crazy. Is there a trainer up here that we battle? I forget really what's up here. I know there's no grass. At least there never used to be grass. There's an item up there. There's this lady here. Whoop, I don't want to go off the edge. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know what when wild Pokemon will appear. Suspense! Okay. What's on the beach? Is there anything on the beach? It doesn't look like it other than this item in this corner. A fighting gem. Okay. That gets absorbed once. That'll be like an Elite Four type of item, maybe. Uh, what do you guys have in store for today? Today is Tuesday. Now, what are your plans for the week? What do you guys have going on in your lives? Uh, we've had some comments from live streams. And not so much from a video yet, but that's okay. Remember, if you want to be... Uh, want to have a Pokemon nicknamed after you, make sure you comment down below. Uh, that way we can get a nickname named after you. So we caught the Aeron. We made it to the tunnel yesterday, I think. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we made it to the uh, tunnel. But I don't remember what we encountered. Chocolate! Ducklet. All right, let's see. Let's go for... Let's go for Echo Voice. Let's see if this Ducklet can take it. Like I said, I want to get... I want to get Etsy leveled up. Because Etsy, I think, is going to be our strongest Pokemon, at least for a while. So I think it makes sense to grind her up as much as possible. To get her ready for this gym fight. I believe the Ace is level 14, so I don't really want to get Pokemon too much higher than that. Uh, the most I would prefer to have them go is 15. If they get any higher than 15, I will probably box them. Uh, kind of giving myself a level cap. Not like a strict level cap, but make it a little bit more difficult uh, for us. Let's go for Faint Attack. Let's see how much this is. Oh, we're, going, we're getting faked out. Never mind. Okay. Let's go for Twister. It is Stab. Good thing we didn't go for Faint Attack because it would have done a little bit less with that Growl. Go for the Twister. Oh, the Twister with the crit! Are we sure you don't have super luck, Etsy? Jeez, nicely done, Etsy. Swag gets to level 8. We like him leveling up in the back. We want to keep him safe. Uh, we're going to switch. That's a Psychic type. Um, I think Destro can be able, should be able to handle this. Destro's a pretty thick boy. Destro should be able to take this on. No problem. But yeah, I, I, other than today, I think I'm going to work remotely today. I don't, just in case it's not what I ate, I don't want to go into work and um, get some people sick. I, that's the one thing I don't want to do. Even before COVID, it was, the rule was always if you're sick, stay home. I don't understand why that kind of went away when COVID came up and people just thought you came to work sick all the time. I don't know, whatever. I'm not a big COVID guy. Just, it, it is what, to me it's another sickness. I've had it like three times, I think. Well, I've had about every variant. It kind of is but at this point. It affects people differently. Sometimes I had it and it was rough. Other times I had it, it wasn't that bad. Kind of is what it is. I lost. I thought I had you. My buddy got affected by it pretty bad. Brought him some Gatorade. Cleared him right up. Gatorade was like the cure. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Tell you the easiest way to beat COVID, at least for me if you're young, just to keep yourself hydrated the best thing you can do. Stay hydrated. It'll clear up pretty quick. Stay hydrated and rest. Stay hydrated and lay in bed. That's the best advice I can offer. Okay, let's go into Dribbler. Other than that, it kind of is what it is. If you're sick, stay home. It's not that hard. So I'm trying to listen to my own advice. You know, I'm the worst at that. I like to just go, go, go. Uh, I like to think... I When I'm home, I'm pretty pretty lazy guy. I'm kind of done for the day. Uh, and I, I'm kind of bad at that. I need to get better. But if I'm at work, I uh, I like to work. I don't like to sit around and do a whole lot of nothing. I like to be busy all the time. And even if I'm sick, I want to go to work. I like to work. But this is, I'm one of the few people, I think, that actually enjoy going to work. So I, uh, I like to be there. And it, it bothers me when I'm not. So uh, it's just how I was raised. And that's how I, I personally believe, that, believe that's how everybody should be. Uh, you should want to be at work, and you should enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy what you do, you should leave. 
and find somewhere that you will enjoy what you do. Oh crap, I want to learn, yes, I want to learn acid. Yes. Bubbles 40, what's acid? 40, but it's stab. So let's go with that. Looking back, I probably should have got rid of Faint Attack. Oh well. Too late now. You're a notch above me. Okay, so we've got a couple Pokemon at level 15 now, right? We do. So let's put Destro up here for right now. Or, ah, uh, yeah, let's put Destro up here for the next few battles. Maybe I won't be able to put them up. Maybe they'll be too high by the time we get there. No, I think we should be fine. I think there's only one trainer left. Hey, look, it's another Aeron. Destro can Ember and should be a neutral attack, but should be easy peasy for Destro. Boom! One hit, knockout. We'd love to see that. Beautifully done, my friend. Okay, let's battle this hiker. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Ha ha! Alright, challenge by Hiker Clark. Sending out a Bufalon. Oh boy. Um, we're going to Ember, and I hope I get a burn. That's kind of what I'm fishing for here. It's a crit. He went for a Leer. Destro might be in some trouble here, but I can't switch into anything really either. A head smash just hurts. Okay. Destro nicely done. Uh, a head smash from that Bouffant was going to hurt real bad. Honestly, whoever took it. Okay, it's a level 14. Okay, our team is doing pretty good. Our team's set now. Yeah, we're going to switch. Let's go into... Volt, uh, Etsy should do fine with this Pokemon. Go for the Twister. Does good damage. Did it just roar me? Whoever comes out should be able to be fine. Unless it's Aeron. Okay, okay. That's fine. Butterfree at this stage should be faster. We'll go for the Confusion. And down goes Vulpix. I never understood why they didn't make Vulpix a Psychic type. Yeah, we got another crit. Did you guys see that? Catch that when I was going across? Hey, Swag's level 10. Swag wants to learn Metal Claw. All right. Yeah, we like that. We'll get rid of Tackle. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know why they didn't make Vulpix in Ninetales Psychic types, like Fire Psychic. Because they talk... The Pokedex talks about them having Psychic powers. And if you know anything about uh, Red Rescue Team game... They do have psychic powers, so I'm I'm very surprised to see that Nine Tails and, and Volpix aren't fire psychic types. When I learned that, I was like, "Wow, that's kind of interesting." But okay, I wonder why. I wonder why they did that. I wonder what kind of decision that was. Oh, well, you also have the uh, decision of like the Dratini line, kind of you know, Dragonite not looking like Dratini or Dragonair. No, well, yeah, I guess we'll have those everywhere, huh? And I love the Dragonite line film, this room. Dragonite's my second favorite Pokemon. Oh, I have this guy. My Pokemon, I rule. Check this out. Stink. You are challenged by Youngster Joey, sending out the Hariyama. Hariyama! Also a scary Pokemon. Okay. Destro, we need to go for the Ember, buddy. That's good damage. Arm Thrust, that might hurt. Never mind, it's not going to hurt. Destro is all about this. He is laughing at these arm thrusts. It is like Goku taking punches from a baby. And laughing and saying, why aren't you a Saiyan yet? Or a Super Saiyan yet? Anyways. Fletchling. Yeah, we're going to switch into okay. I know we're super effective. Like, we're weak to this thing. But I think okay will do this fine. I think okay, we'll be all right. It's just a little Fletchling. I don't even know if Fletchling gets Ember yet, so we'll be fine. Confusion. Nicely done. Went for Growl. We're going to Confusion again. All right. So after this trainer, we're going to go into the gym. We're going to battle the gym trainers. If we go over 15 with the gym trainers, it is what it is, but at least we'll have entered the gym with Pokemon at 15. Ouch, a scrape. I have to put on a bandage. 
Yeah, you should probably do that, buddy. All right, let's grab this item here. Shaller Sable. Okay. All right, let's go back and heal everybody up. Let's heal up the team. Let's get ready for our gym badge. Also, make some hype or make some noise in the chat. We're going to premiere this uh, video as it is our first gym battle. So make some noise in the comments. I'll be there live as well. Uh, down in the comment section, we can interact with one another. It will be a fun time. So I hope you come on out and you are excited for episode three of our randomized Omega Ruby Nuzlocke. Alan. Hello, you must be a new trainer. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. See you soon. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water and grass-type moves. Come see me afterward if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. But remember this gym only having two trainers. Don't take us gym trainers lightly, I'll show you why we're better. I forgot that you kind of revamped this whole area, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good for us. This be very bad. Okay, this be not good. No bueno. All right, Etsy's coming in. Oh, Etsy was almost a 16. Oh, my goodness. That was close. All right. Scary face lowers our speed. Okay. Luckily, it's only level 7. Jeez, we just got a behemoth here. We're already slow, Kyogre. Oh, that acid does a lot. And it was another crit. We're getting lucky today. Water pulse. Ah, oh, we should resist. Game froze for a minute. I got scared. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, good. We're okay. Come on, Etsy. Break through here. Yes. Good job. We'll get you switched out. Nicely done, Etsy. Good job, good job. Level 16. It's a... The Galgi is coming in clutch for us already. Destro's level 16. Nice. Okay, grew to level 15. That's perfect. Munchlax. Oh, now we're good. Now we're going to Dribbler. Dribbler should be able to hit Munchlax with a horn attack and take it out pretty quickly. Ooh, Dribbler's almost level 16. All right. I think we're doing good with our team. We're pretty well balanced outside of uh, Swag. Swag is still a little underleveled, but he's coming along. Down goes Munchlax. Tip it on over. And we're up to level 16. Nicely done. Swag grew to level 11. See, Swag's not too far behind. He's right there. You were too good for me. The one other reason why I want to battle these trainers is for that scenario that we just ran into. If you, can't if you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Uh, in case we Roxanne has like Kyogre at level 15, probably not going to be as easy if, you know, we're not a little bit higher. Right, Destro, nice. We're going to Ember and Cocoon is going to go away, and this trainer is defeated. <laughs> that was an easy gym battle. Probably, probably the easiest gym battle of my career of any Pokemon game ever. It was a Kakuna, I Ember, who keep moving. Wow. Nice. Right, let's battle her. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. The number two, eh? Returns by school kid Georgia. Send out Regirock. This thing's going to explode. Or self destruct. One of the two. Um, 29 defense, 22 defense, 34, 39, 31. I'm actually going to go into swag. Because it, he's got almost the highest defense, but he also resists. And I have Metal Claw. So if he explodes, it shouldn't do a whole lot. Stop, not going to do a whole lot. 
really, Regirock can't do anything to me other than self-destruct or explode. And even then, I'm going to resist it. Yeah, see, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're not going to do a lot to him, but <laughs> he's also not going to do a lot to us. He's got Bulldoze. I didn't know he had Bulldoze. Oh, all right. Swag, I'm sorry, buddy. Thought I played it right. I didn't know he got Bulldoze. Oh, the confusion didn't do anything. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh. Uh, this is tough. I don't know how to get out of this. I guess we're going to Pursuit, because it should be neutral, right? Yeah. Charge move. So it doesn't have self-destruct or explosion. And he didn't get the boost out of that. That's impressive. What a tough battle. I went from the easiest battle to a pretty difficult battle while losing a team member. So. Reggie Rock has been defeated. Okay, grew to level 16. Okay, wants to learn to move gusts. Um, what's gust at? 40. Let's get rid of... These are all 75% accuracy, right? Let's get rid of poison powder. Get rid of poison powder. Eventually, we'll get rid of all the powder, powder since they're so inaccurate. Destro wanting to learn bite. Okay. Something I like to see. Let's get rid of sand attack. We're getting a pretty good move set on our Flareon. So, Ad Seeds level 17. Let's go, kid, Georgia. How disappointing. I fell to number three. Actually, you fell to what's going to be number one. All right, we need to go put Swag away in the death box. Have a, us a little funeral for our boy Swag. His first Pokemon battle we sent him out into, and the poor guy got bulldozed into oblivion by a Reggie Rock. Oh, poor guy. I feel bad. Deposit Pokemon. Aaron, you are our first death of the series. I'm so sorry. Go take your rest in the PC. Oh, unfortunately, that stinks. Wait, did I heal up? Or did I just... Oh, I gotta heal still. Oh, boy. Let's go heal up. The only reason why I choose to box the Pokemon instead of release them, I like to see at the end of the series how many Pokemon that we lost along the way, how many teammates and friends and crew members that we had that unfortunately went down. I'm hoping that is our only one. I'm hoping Swag was the only one that we're going to have in this series. I don't think it will be, but that's my hope. Potion, let's buy 10 more. Right, we have a few antidotes. Uh, we're going to need to buy 10 more Pokeballs for the encounters that are coming up. Alright, now we're good on healing items. Uh, I'm probably going to give everybody a berry. I think is how we're going to do this. We have enough orange berries to give everybody one. So let's give everybody an orange berry. Just in case we eat them. Our levels are good and not super over leveled, which is great. That's what I like to see. Like I said, I think her ace is 15. It might be 14, in which case then I'm kind of a little high. But I'm pretty sure it's 15 from when I looked it up. But it has been a while since I looked it up. So, hi, right, Roxanne. You and me. You and me. Just as I expected, I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? All right, she's ready to lay down the law. Here we go. Our battle against Roxanne. Well, that's a Kyogre. If I ever saw one. All right, Destro. This should be easy peasy for you. Ember, my buddy. Yep, down goes the Badoo. We're one Pokemon away from a gym badge. Ooh, delayed. I'm gonna stay in. Maybe we'll be able to get the burn. Level 14. Okay, so we're a little high. 
Oh, but Gallade took that. Oh, it went for teleport. Oh, no. wonder if Bite will do any better. And it's got Truant. Oh, my soul. Did we get lucky? Wow. It's got Truant. It went for teleport. And then it went for Truant. Oh, and then we got the flinch. There's a potion, but Bite is definitely the way to go. I didn't know Gallade could take those special attacks like that. Oh, there. That's, that's all she wrote. Oh, man. Give it up for everybody in the chat. Destro getting us a gym badge. Very nice. Dribbler level 17. Leader Roxanne. We defeated her. So, I lost. Seems that I still have much more to learn. Me too. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. I was so nervous that it was going to freeze on me. Oh, no. I don't know why the emulators were a little goofy. Austin received the stone badge from Roxanne. The stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please take this with you, too. Rock Tomb. But I wonder what it actually is going to be, because I think it's randomized. Alright, she tells us about Rock Tomb, which isn't completely accurate. Let's check out our TM. Man, we didn't. I don't even think we took any damage. Oh, it is Rock Tomb. Oh, maybe that didn't randomize. That's weird. Interesting. Interesting. That that TM didn't randomize. Unless it randomized into Rock Tomb. Either way, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Out of the way, move it! I don't remember the voice for this guy. Wait, please! Don't take those parts! Can you walk any slower? Alright, well, in the next episode, we're going to go help that guy get the Devon parts back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the family, join the Empire together. We shall rule the galaxy. Have a great rest of your day. And may the Force be with you, always. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. However, I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about something that is very important. This channel was made to have a great time playing video games, but there's so much more than that. This channel is made to show Jesus Christ to an audience that may not ever hear how great he truly is. Jesus Christ loves you so much he gave up all of heaven just for you. He came here, was born in a stall. His first breath was of manure. He lived a perfect life for 33 years and then died on a cross just for you. He died even for those that put him there. After three days, he rose again, and now he is in heaven waiting for the right time to call his children home. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is a child of God. I would like to give you the opportunity to become one. Hell is a real place. It's a terrible place. It's a place filled with fire, gnashing of teeth. It's an eternal darkness, an eternal separation from God, and I don't want any of you to go there. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 and verse 10, As it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. It's a pretty easy verse to understand. Nobody is perfect, and everyone has done something wrong in their life other than Jesus Christ. The Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The payment for us doing things wrong is to die. I'm sure glad that verse doesn't end there, though. It goes on to say that the gift of God, not from God, the gift of God, he gave himself. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So how do we get saved? Jesus died for us. He loves us. So what do we have to do? Do we have to give money? Do we have to do uh, 55 push-ups, 500 push-ups? Do we have to uh, be a good person? No. No. We can never be good enough. We can never give enough money. We can never be baptized enough times. We can never do any of these things that the world tries to tell us. Jesus Christ made it as easy for us as possible. He did all the hard work. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm sure glad I don't have to give money to get to heaven, because I don't have a whole lot of it. I'm sure glad that I don't have to be good, because I can never be good enough. I'm sure glad I don't need to be baptized. The thief on the cross 
uh, that died with Jesus. It's not like the Roman soldiers let him off to dunk him in water and then bring him back up and nail him again. No. All we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ to get to heaven. That's that's it. That's how we get saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not whosoever is you. That whosoever is me. That whosoever is the worst person we could possibly think of. Jesus Christ died and paid for everything. Anybody can be saved. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. Jesus Christ died for you knowing all of that. And still says, just believe in me and you get to go to heaven. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And it's not the prayer that saves you. But it's believing that in Jesus Christ that he's the only way to get to heaven. That's how you get saved. But the prayer, we call it the sinner's prayer. And it goes something like this. And if you would like to be saved, you can say this uh, out loud. You can say it in your head. You can say it right from where you're at. You don't have to be in a church to say it. You can be anywhere. The prayer goes something like this. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross just for me. And Jesus, the best way I know how, I'm asking you to come into my heart. To save me from all my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Jesus, I don't know everything, but I'm believing in you the best that I know how. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me, for dying for me, and for saving me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, you are now saved and a child of God. That is awesome. It's wonderful. It's going to be great to be able to spend an eternity in heaven with you where there's no more death, no more pain, no more suffering, no more goodbyes. It's a wonderful place filled with people that all love God and that accepted Christ. The Bible goes on to tell us in 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 through 13, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. See, Jesus doesn't want us to question whether we're going to heaven or not. He wants us to know it. He puts a stamp of a guarantee on it. You can't trust really anybody on, your, on their word anymore, but you can trust Christ. He's never lied to you. He's never messed up. He's never made a mistake. He put a stamp of approval. You may know that you have eternal life. And this life is in the Son. So if you accepted Christ as your Savior today, man, I'm rejoicing for you. All of heaven is celebrating. The Bible tells us that all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that repenteth. I sure would like to know that you got saved. Whether you leave a comment or if you want to contact me personally on Twitter, uh, at Skyvorker, that would be great to just get to know that you accepted Christ your Savior. I would love to be able to rejoice with you and to help you along, along the way if I can. Thank you guys so much for listening to this, and I hope you did accept Christ your Savior today. God bless.